Good afternoon, folks. Just wanted to take a few minutes and try to help those of you who are just starting up with your flock and trying to safeguard them, uh, trying to keep them safe from uh, predators such as coons and possums, uh, the two biggest uh, problems I've had in the past uh, with coons just coming in and devastating uh, my flock and possums. So if you're having problems, let me switch the camera around. With these guys, uh, just want to give you some tips and some hints uh, to help you try to avoid the mistakes that I've made in the past. Okay, uh, be back in just a moment. By the way, that coon that uh, you just saw, that was number 10 raccoons that uh, I've trapped, as well as four possums in the last three months. So. Uh, the way I've constructed my pen, I knew that you know I would have predators or have something trying to get my flock. So I've done everything in my power to try to uh, close in my pen. And then when I shut them up at night, uh, I've got my coop just as airtight as I possibly can, not leaving any gaps or any holes. Uh, because trust me, if there's any way they can get in, uh, and get to them, they will find a way. They have all night to, to pillage and plunder and find weaknesses in your structure. So I'm just gonna kind of show you a few things of what I've done uh, to try to secure it as much as I possibly can, starting uh, with the outside of my wire. Let me, let me get, get my camera turned around and I'll show you. Okay, as you can see, I've got uh, six foot welded wire. Uh, this is basically just for the honest animals like a dog or a cat to try to keep them out. Uh, but what I've done to keep a dog or something from digging in is stapled uh, about a one and a half foot section of welded wire uh, to the bottom of the board with uh, fence staples and run it out. But also a big thing is, is what I have done is used tent pegs that you can get at Walmart for like 75 cents or a dollar a piece just like this one drove them in the ground and about every four foot apart as you can see all the way around so again this is just to keep the honest animals like a cat or a, or a dog from digging in, digging in and getting to your flock. But also, uh, let me get inside. I've done the same thing. I took a uh, my old horse pen and divided it in half for my, uh, for my coop for them to be shut up in at night. And I've done the same thing with my coop welded wire stapled to the bottom board with tent pegs all the way around okay i'm gonna show you the inside in just a minute get the camera turned around okay sorry about that delay years ago i had uh probably 14 15 years ago i had a a flock of around 24 25 chickens and uh, I was more in the country at the time now I live in the city uh, but I thought I had it bulletproof I thought I had it screened in I had fence wire over the top uh, as well as just like I do now fence around the bottom edge and in a matter of about two weeks uh, something was getting in and I lost 14 or 15 and I told myself if I ever got back into the chickens again you know, I was going to do a better job and I was going to build it right, which is what I've tried to do. Because um, like I said earlier, if there's a way to get in, I promise you, they will find it. Uh, they will work on that spot till they get in. And uh, if you lose any, uh, if you do this, it won't be because you didn't try. All right, I'm going to show you the inside of my uh, All right, I've done the same thing on the inside. On the other side, got it uh, tent pegged all the way across where nothing can get in. 
up to the roof. Every little gap closed around the bottom. Uh, if anything gets in, it would shock me, but you never know. But it, again, it won't be because I did not try. I've learned the hard way. I've lost so many. And I hope this little bit of a short video will help you. I want to do a little quick video to try to help you not lose any of your flock because they're expensive. You put so much time and effort uh, into them. And it don't take long for a coon or a possum to just devastate you. All right, folks. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the uh, section below. Like and subscribe. I've got another video on YouTube if you want to find it uh, regarding going to that, how I built that, how I secured it. You'll find it under the Chicken Man. And just look for the uh, the best chicken tunnel ever, and you'll find it. All right, Lincoln, uh, just click click the like and subscribe if you like. Have a great day, folks. God bless.